So if you would have something like what is 99 to the 102nd power modulo 3? Like, well, first off, can you even do, like, if you put this into your calculator, is it even going to work? Well, 99 to the 102nd power is essentially 100, right? 100 to the 102nd power, what's well, two zeros to the 102nd power, that's two, you know, two zeros to the 100 to the 102nd, that means I would have. 204 zeros essentially, one with 204 zeros. Is that representable on any sort of calculator? No. Now if you did a string thing like maxima, which doesn't actually do arithmetic, what it's doing is string manipulation, right? Until it runs out of memory, it could, it could do problems like this. Whether you do Mathematica, Maxima, Maple, MuPad, it's all within the same branch of math. Anyways, um, but this, if you type it in your calculator, immediately dies. It has to approximate it. And what's, what's awful, like if you type this thing into like uh, languages like MATLAB, you do this and take mod 3, it would give you an answer. That is absolutely wrong. It was no warning, no nothing. It's just like, here you go. I assume you're smart enough to know what you're doing on a programming language. It says, hey look, you're, you're the programmer, you obviously know how to do math. And you did this and it doesn't work. It gives you garbage, but you didn't know that. There's no flag. Hey, by the way, I can't actually do this. Anyways, how can I do this? Well, what is it? It is actually 99 times 99 times 99, 102 times modulo 3, right? But what is 99 mod 3? Zero. So what are all those numbers? Zero, right? 99 mod 3, that's a zero. You know, because 99 mod 3 is zero. Why is it zero? Because 99 is a multiple of 3. And so this entire problem is what? Zero. Calculator can't do it. I can tell you right away. What if I did, what is 101 to the 102nd power modulo 3? What is 101 mod 3? It's 2, right? So this is actually 2 to the 102nd power mod 3. Ooh, well that's not... How do I do this? Well, hmm. That's actually, if I look at this, what are we doing? That's actually 2 times 2 times 2 times 2, and there's how many of these? 102 of these mod 3. But by the way, what's 2 times 2? 4. What's 4 mod 3? 1. So every 2 times 2 that you see being 4, but that's congruent under mod 3 to 1. So every pair of 2's that you see is what? 1. So well, wait a second. So 2 to the 102 power mod 3 is actually 4 to the 51 power mod 3. But that's 1 to the 51st power mod 3. What's your answer? 1. Just using a little bit of common sense on how numbers group and replacing them with what they are. So 101 to the 102nd power, which can't be represented on the calculator, with a little bit of common sense simply is 1. Everybody okay with using these techniques? So I could do really crazy things, like 101 to the 102nd power plus 99 to the 14th power plus all mod 11. You can sit there and play things with the whole point. Find stuff to replace. Make your life easier by making big numbers small. Do not multiply it out. <laughs> Especially since I, do I allow you to use calculators? No. So I, I might give you things like, well, that's crazy, I can't do that by hand. It's like, yeah, don't multiply it. <laughs> Replace it with small numbers. Okay, so it's kind of a nice property of replacing things with their same, all these little things that we can do. Now, 